Hey guys, Chrome Tyrell here. Welcome to another RuneScape Slayer Creatures video. Be sure to like and subscribe if you enjoy the content, and let's get moving. All right, so this is going to be a long one, and I'm going to do the best I can to, you know, make it so that it's un understandable and at least halfway intelligible. All right, so once you hit 40 Slayer, you unlock the Terror Dogs assignment. The problem with Terror Dogs is it's got a few mini quests and other quests in front of it because you have to have done the Haunted Mine quest and to actually fight the Terror Dogs regularly you have to have also done the Lair of Tarn Razor Lore mini quest because that's what unlocks them as a Slayer assignment with 40 Slayer. They don't actually count as a dog's task because they're their own task. It is like the Terror Dog task basically. Uh, they're weak to slash weapons the wiki suggests bringing like a Saradoman Godsword, but that's about 10 mil at the time of this recording. So just like bring a whole bunch of food and a quick teleport out. Also, where you fight the terror dogs, your prayer will be drained faster even than the barrows will drain it. It is terribly good at draining prayer once you're in there. All right, so there are a couple of different ways to get to Tarn Razalor's lair. Basically. The one that you want to do is the Ring of Slang right here. You can buy these for points at any Slayer Master or you can craft them once you buy the ability to craft them. It takes like 65 or 75 crafting so it's not like it's not very easy but to my chagrin we're not going to do any of that. <laughs> Actually right now I'm going to do it. It basically amounts to the hard way for now. Alright so to get to Tarn's Lair, you have to first get to Berterot. Because we gotta go from there to the Haunted Mine. Alright, so a bunch of different ways you can get there. Uh, if you've done the Darkness of Hollowell quest and you have 500 companion levels doing the Temple Trekking mini games, mini game, you can use the Games Necklace to do that. If you're really, really good at Temple Trekking or very determined, which I don't believe I was too very much unless I messed that up, if you level Zachary Bragg to level 99, it unlocks the Hair of the Dog Tavern door in Canifest that will take you directly to Morton. Then you can just run southwest. Uh, if you have, if you've completed Branches of Darkmire, or at least partially up to the point where you get the Draken Medallion, you can teleport to Berderot using that thing. Uh, you can take the Swamp Boat from Mortmire Swamp. Uh, you can go to Canifest, the tunnel underneath the Hair of the Dog Tavern, after you do In Search of the Myrek and also from Fairy Ring Code BKR. You can also run from Canifis to Bird or Rot, but you don't, you can just go do that, that's okay. And if you have played the Barrows before, you, if you have at least one kill in the Barrows, you can turn Tune Wars Portal in the War, the PVM hub, north of Drainer Village is where you get into there, you can attune that to the Barrows, and that's northeast of Bird or Rot. All right, with that out of the way, I'm going to teleport to Canifus. I'm going to use the I'm going to use the Draken medallion though. I'm only saying that because I'm too cheap. I'm too cheap to have the medallion use a charge. So what I do, if you go to Canifus, like once you're in Mauritania or the general area, the medallion won't use a charge no matter where you go with it. But you have to get to Canifus first. And then you can teleport. Uh, let's left click teleport. I'm going to go to Berderot right here. So basically, from there we want to go. I do have a weapon. I do not. It would be handy if I actually, you know, uh, got a weapon. That would be real handy. Let's do uh, the weak to slash attacks. Hmm. Maybe I should use the Bandos God Sword instead. That's a slash weapon. I don't have a Ceridoman God Sword. I wasn't willing to spend 10 mil on it way back when, when it was probably more, way more expensive, and I'm not really willing to do that now. All right. So now to get to 
the Tarn Razor Lore map thing. We've got to go to the Haunted Mine first. The entrance to Tarn's Lair is at the northern end of level one of the abandoned mine. So that means we've got to hop over this direction. Oh, no, it's not this direction, it's this direction. Sometimes I have difficulty figuring out. That's what these green things are for. That's where they tell you where all the agility shortcuts are. Of course, then you actually have to do it correctly, getting where the agility shortcuts are at. So we gotta like climb over this junk. Oh yeah, I remember recompleting this in RS3. It was a old school RS, it was a pain in the backside. Oh man, it's been so long since I've been here. Okay, so the entrance to Tarn's Lair is at the northern end of level one of the abandoned mine. Whoa, I've been attacked by an animated shovel. <laughs> They show me you are here. Okay, so we just got to get to this potato looking part Over whoa This is enter entrance. We're entering the entrance. What on earth are you? We're knocking him over. That's what Okay, so this is like the entrance to The entrance to Tarn's Lair. It's full of zombies And a lot of other Scary things. All right so this has three levels. I'm going to see if we can stumble through this. All right. Hmm. Okay. Turns out there's three levels, stairs and passageways connecting them. There are many traps. And two ways to deal with them. Slowly disarm each trap or ignore the trap and take some dam take damage. Okay, the floor trap. Floor traps, wall traps, log traps, receding walls. Okay. Adova car is the only bank in the area. You need 100 GP to access the bank each time. Okay. All right, so from here, this is where we're at. Oh, wow. Oh, no, wait, that's not it. Okay, so we're here now. We're going to go right past a couple of rooms. And then once we get to this flag-shaped area, we're not going to go past there, but we're going to go right to the banker. We and I'm running, likely running past a bunch of traps. Oops, like that. Yeah, and we'll just hang out here while I'm being walloped by skeletons. Skeletons, a ton of skeletons. There we go. Very good. Yeah, I wasn't steel salvage, it's worth 2k. Hot dang. All right, so this, this here, that I wasn't aware of, that I just whipped on past, was a trap. This is actually strangely good drops for this area. Sorry, I'm getting sidetracked. All right, so yeah, there's some traps. I think there's some traps on the way to the banker too. Oh, ouch, right there. I didn't see that. Where that was at? I don't know if I can look for traps. Oh, it says ex search the wall right here. You quickly walk past. Okay, so we've got to be careful searching walls. Oh. Okay, so the walls look like this. 
Oh, they have spikes in them. Yeah, okay. They have actual spikes in there. All right. Adoba car. All right, so we're going to go past Adoba car now. Enter in this passageway. And be attacked by a skeleton. Oh, boy. Hot shot. And a zombie, too. These guys are pretty beefy. Level 82. That's a bit rough. Ah! A partially charged games necklace. How serendipitous. I didn't know that was a thing. Okay, so now from here, we just gotta go up. We've gotta just go to this area, to the other end of this part here. Oh! I've done been... Oh! That's a floor trap right there. This, you're going to look for this because it has an X. It's obvious. It has an X shape on there, the wiki says. Hooah! And we're whacking them. Oh, now we're... Yeah, we got to get out of here. I'm never going to get to the end of this thing. Oh, there was another. I got jammed up. Ouch. There was another floor trap right there. I got jammed up. There was another floor trap right there. Oh, there we go. Okay. And now here's another passageway. This is this area. Okay, then in the next little room, oops, all I've got to do is just, whoa, beware of the skeleton. This is like more of oh, an uncut emerald and a long bone. Uh-oh. It's a what's-his-face. Oh, it's, is it what's-a-guy? Oh, construction bone. You go to this construction expert goblin in Dorgish Khan, he'll give you construction XP for this. This is just basically a restroom. There's nothing here. And then we go over here, and this is much the same. We can just rush ahead. Whoop, wait a minute. Oh, we gotta go to the left, not the not ahead. We gotta go to the left. And then we have a skeleton. These are getting beefy. Alright, so with the one that looks like a nightstick right here. Like a billy club. We've got to just go to the upper end of it, up here. Ooh, runes and stuff. Law of runes are getting scarcer for me these days. Okay, and this is the passageway for that. Oop, and I got tagged by the wall here. Okay, I think we can just go up over here. All right, this is the, I don't know what this is. This is the billy club room. The log trap button here is going to be over here. Okay, I did not bring a ranged weapon. That may that may spell ill for me. Can we climb up? It says we're supposed to go from where we entered down a little bit. Can we jump on top of this? Hmm. Oh, jump to ledge. Okay. You can't jump from where you are. You need to get closer to jump here. Okay. Okay, 
so between here and there it says we just got to go down a little bit and then straight across to the log trap button is there a way to get down from here was I supposed to bring a rope and I didn't that would be really irritating if that were the case Pot of flour. Hmm. Okay. Log trap button is across there. It just seems I'm doing something wrong and I don't know what it is. Because I can't go through this at all. So do I have to go up first? No, I don't think so. All right, tagged by the wall again. Yeah. That's the only problem also with having auto retaliate on. If you do that, you can get dragged into traps. Like me. Don't be like me. Holy mold, which I will disassemble for junk since I already have one tool belted. Okay, what's this? Okay, so now we're down where we need to be here. Can we jump on these now? No, I guess we can't. I triggered a floor trap. Okay, so like, I've got to somehow get, I think I'm lost, oh boy, it's not how we want to be, so the log trap button, Rock cavefish from a looting perk. Oh boy. Okay, so that's a floor trap right there. We don't want to step on that. So the Billy Club area was through this area. And it was not 
this area was down, ouch. Yeah, it was this area. Three dose attack potion. That's a weak one, I believe, but still sells for five oh five. Okay, cause I'm missing something. I don't know what I'm missing. So, this says, You'll now be in a hallway that looks like an inverted T. Take the passage to the north, avoiding the traps on both sides of the wall, and go through the doorway on the west side. Okay, that's where we are now. Ouch. Ouch. And this says, take the passage to the north, avoiding the wall traps on both sides, and take the doorway to the west side. Okay, this puts you in a room that pillars that you must jump across, and a log trap you must disable. Pillars I must jump across. Because I can't see how to jump across these pillars. Because I like there's no handholds and no nothing. It says oh, it says jump jump to pillar. How much closer do I need to get? Oh okay. I feel silly. Alright, so all we've got to do is just right click and click jump to pillar. I feel sheepish. Jump to ledge. Okay, search the floor. The flagstone has already been pressed down. Okay, so where's the button at? The button. The log trap button is right, would be like right here someplace. Okay, so now what? Then we just gotta go to the mid trap. I suppose that's supposed to be moved out of the way? Or like what? Am I gonna get knocked in the head? Yep, so apparently I didn't find the proper thing. 
to disarm that and we're gonna go back great but now I know where to go back to so that's helpful Maybe I can like run away from them at this point. All right, so for some reason, I know what to do now, but for some reason it didn't work to disarm that. Unless I waited too long. Unless we've got to like push the button and then just rush it. We probably have to rush it. Is it going to whack me again? No, I guess not. Okay, now that we've jumped to the ledge, we can just go over to this area, through this area, up to the top of where that guy is with that little, this little button here. And then yeah, it's basically to the next room. I'm probably gonna have to avoid some mages and other nonsense. I don't know yet. I didn't bring a ranged weapon. Oh, we've got knocked down below. Great. This is a huge skeleton, which means we need to go back. Which means we need to go back down here. Search this wall again. corner search this wall go past there okay, I'm gonna go to the thing over here jump the pillar jump 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 and jump to the ledge and jump to the ledge all right so then we push this button real quick back over here jump to this pillar jump to the second pillar right here and then just jump north till we get to that ledge and since we press the button we won't get knocked down by that thing Hopefully. This is really not responsive. Either that or I'm doing it very wrong. Ah, 
I'd opt for the latter. Okay, so there are two wall traps here, which I apparently failed to disarm because I told it to search too far ahead. All right, so this is the part that I forgot to figure out what was where with the wall boppers. So these are the wall things that'll bop you and knock you down one level take you down a peg oh okay so they just moved like that oop great I'm about one second away from just accessing that ring and pushing the button legit but I want to make sure those of you who don't have the ring or have to complete the quest still will know how to do this. And I need to actually relearn how to do this, so. <sighs> yes. Where is that wall at? Here it is. A plant pot. And they've been I'm bumping off gardeners up in here. Okay, so the other wall I need to search is here. And then we can just go. Now I'm going to do this again. It seems like there's a bit where you've got to wait for your character's legs to go back together after they jump before you can jump again. And I think that's the part I was clicking too far ahead of. All right. So then there's the wall smasher things. Follow the path to the east, past the wall traps on the southern and northern walls. You only have been in a room with four walls and shoot out periodically. Time your moves to be void to avoid being knocked into the hole, or use surge twice to pass through it. Careful the surge of the westernmost tile while facing while still facing the right direction, or you wish surging right into the pillar pusher. So now we've got to push the button, come back here, jump to this pillar, jump to this pillar, and then jump to these two pillars. Don't examine the hanging log. We know what hanging logs are for. To bash unsuspecting adventurers named Chrome if they try to cross it. That's what hanging logs are for. Okay. All right, so it looks like here, put it back up. Okay. So they're surging out right there. They surging out, then they go back in, then surge out, and back in. Uh, I think I'm just going to use surge and see if we can do that or not. Because this is taking way too long.
This is becoming more of a dream length, and I didn't want that. Of course, I also forgot how to navigate Tarn's Lair, so I guess it was inevitable in that case. A bowl of water. Seriously? Search the floor. Search the floor. Jump to this pillar again. On this side, this side. And a Necrite Stone Spirit. All right. So once we get past here, if we get past here, we're going to go through another room where we're going to be attacked by skeleton mages as we go from the northwest portion of the room to the southeast portion of the room. And that's like the last really big problem here. Okay, there's one surge. Okay, so surge out. Okay, so we kind of have to wait for them. Here's the skeletons, some skeletons, okay. So we're in the next room. We've got to go northwest. Northwest to southeast. So we're going to start here. 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 And jump to this ledge here. And take our revenge on the mages. I know that wasn't part of the plan, but with auto attack on, they're probably going to knock me over anyway, or at least try to. Okay. Well. Oh, boy. And so. After all that rigmarole, this is the next room. This is where to go. To go here. Right here. Down these steps. Whoops. No, not down the steps. That's not down the steps, is it? Oh, no, wait. It is. Wait, I think it is down the steps. No? Mages. Once across, go down the stairs to an empty room, which leads to the final room. Oh. Well, this is the only set of stairs here. Holy cats, wait a minute. 
Okay, so, oh, okay. I think I'd gotten this wrong. If I'm not mistaken, this particular room, if you teleport with the Ring of Slang, is where the Ring of Slang drops you off. That's what this is. Okay. Okay. So, yeah, then you would be able to get the terror dogs to run. I have almost no food here. Let's disassemble some of this junk. Well, it's not junk. Some of it's nice, but I need room. Probably should have out the salvage, but oh well. All right, so then after all that jazz, you would end up here and the terror dogs are right inside basically. What you would do, uh, I've already killed Tarn in a previous iteration, so Tarn's not here and the terror dogs are. Uh, the terror dogs are weak to slash weapons as I mentioned before and terror dogs are the only creatures in the game that drop the granite helm. So if you want one of them things, you have to come here to get it if you don't want to buy one. Ah, Swamp Tar. This is a bad Slayer task in a terribly hard to reach location, so as such, I would suggest not doing it. So normally what you would do, you would be fighting Tarn, right? And some dogs, he spawns a couple of dogs. Ooh, 1600 coins, nice. He spawns a couple of dogs in that. Then you would go, at the end of the quest, you would go here or Tarn's diary is on the table, you would pick it up and then you would enchant, you can enchant your salve amulets here to give a greater bonus against combat in combat with the undead which is what the entire purpose of this diary is for unless you want to read it. At least he was a learned man, or Tarn Rezor, it appears, alright. So yeah, you can also trap I guess the wiki says you can kind of trap the tiny dogs around the corner if you so choose, but I that's a bit of a dicey proposition for me because I usually mess up stuff like that, like lures and so on and so forth. If I'm not really good at that stuff, I'm not too good at luring to be fair. Yeah, my prayer is already drained basically to nothing here. All right, so that's the terror dog assignment. I appreciate you guys hanging out. I should get out of here first, however. Keep on going with your RuneScape journey and your life journey too. We will catch you all in the next one. I hope you don't have to do that Tarn Razor Lore thing more than once like I did. Doing several parts over because I couldn't get it too well. But anyway, that's it for this one. We will catch you all later. See you.